Hey everyone, Dave from Retired With Purpose. On my last video, which I named YouTube 101, I just covered the very basic entry to try to help you get started on a YouTube journey. So this is a follow-up to that one. This is YouTube 102. So what I'm going to do on this video, we're going to actually shoot a small video. Then I'm going to show you where the computer saves that small video. And then I'm going to show you a free video editor that you can use. And then we're going to import that video that we shot into that editor. So this should move you along to be able to create your own YouTube videos if you're not familiar with these things at all. So uh, if you're new here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. Let's get started. So the very first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have your webcam plugged in to your computer. And then we're going to go down here on the search bar down here at the bottom and just type in cam or camera. And you'll see that it pops up right away. It's right here. And we click open. Okay, so here's our camera. And uh, we're just going to make it very simple. Hey, I'm Dave. I'm trying to help you get started on uploading to uh, YouTube. So uh, that's it. Let's move on. So at this point, let's take a look at where it saved our little video. Um, you can see up here under your libraries, it says pictures. So you go to your pictures and under pictures, you have camera roll. So we're under camera roll. And right here it is. This is the one that we just made. So I'm going to double click it real quick. Yep, that's our video. So we want to remember where it saved it to. It saved it from pictures and camera roll. And there it is. So now let's go take a look at a free um, video editor that you can use. Uh, and then I'll show you how to import this over to it. Okay, so from right where we are, we're under pictures and camera roll. Just go down to the bottom where it says search and then type in Clip Champ. Clip Champ. Right here it is, Microsoft Clip Champ. And I just have to open it. If it's the very first time that you're there, uh, it's going to ask for an email. So it's getting it ready. Okay, so here we are. ClipChamp is now open. And again, this is free. And to get started on this, I'm, you can go look at all of these different things and try different things all you like. But on this one, let's stay on task. What we want to do is go get that video that we made so we can edit it. So up here, right under where it says, nice to meet you, create a new video. Click that. Okay, so here we are on video project one, they called this. So what we want to do at this point, as you can see, there's, there's a lot of different options, and we'll talk about these in just a moment. But right here it says import media. Now remember where that, that video is saved, so import the media. So here we are under pictures and under camera roll. And there it is. So we just click it and open it. And there's our video right here. And it shows you a preview when you put your cursor on it. So all we want to do is we want to take it and drag it down here on what they call the timeline. And here we are on the timeline. Now this is where all the magic happens. This is where you can go through and edit and do different things. And uh, I'm just going to give you a quick example of what I mean by that is right here. See the scissors? That's a split. So if I drag this to an area that I don't care for, and I'm just going to grab something right here, and then I hit the scissors, and that means it splits the video right there. Now I have two videos. Now, if I move this further forward, and I want to stop it right here, and again, I clip it, that splits it. Now I have three videos. And let's say that area right there, I did not want. So I just click it, hit my delete button, and it's gone. Now, the little trash can here, 
click it and it's going to get rid of that gap. So the gap is now gone, that section's removed. So now it will just jump right over top of that when I play it. So it just cuts that area out. Now you can play with this. There's all kinds of things that you can do. And for instance, up here, I want you to see you have my media and record and create the content library, templates, text, transitions. Then over on the other side, we have captions and audio, fades, filters, effects. There's just a lot of different things you can do with this. Now, after you've played with this, and you're going to have to go in and play with it yourself. So once you play with this for a while, what you want to do is after you make the video and you have it just the way you want, then you go up here and click export up here, upper right. And then it's going to ask you some questions. Just make the export video 1080p, which is high quality, and you can store it in the cloud or you can store it on your computer. So I don't want to store it in the cloud. I'm going to export it right here and it's going to save it right back to my camera roll. Okay, so you've played with the video, you've made your edits, uh, you checked out different transitions so you can see things fade in and out and so on. And you have it just perfect. You have it just the way you want it. And um, then what, what you do is we've talked about is you export that back to the camera roll. From there, guys, it's a simple matter. Go to your YouTube channel, upper right hand corner, there's a create button. And all you do is you click that create button and then you will upload the video that you saved, you edited with ClipChamp and you saved, you will upload that to YouTube. Then it's just a simple matter of going down through and filling out the fields that YouTube's going to ask you. And there's going to be a lot of different little questions. You won't have a problem uh, answering. If you do have a problem or you do have one you have questions about, please just leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can help you with those different questions that YouTube are asking you. So um, it's not hard, guys. It, it really is not a difficult thing to do. You make your video with your camera, you edit your video, you save that little file after you edit it, and then you upload it to YouTube. And that's all there is to this video editor. Very easy to use, but you're going to have to go on and play with it. This is not the video editor that I use. I use a more expensive um video editor that can do a lot of different things, but to get started, you don't need that. This is a free version of, uh, of clip champ that you can go use and, uh, and have it all work out for you. So anyway, guys, there you go. That's how you shoot it. Use a webcam, use a microphone, always, um, suggest is use an external mic. It makes your sound better for sure. And audio is important along with your video. But then once you shoot it, it saves it on your camera roll. All you do is go open ClipChamp here or some other video editor. And then you go import that into the video editor, make any changes you want to make until you're happy with it. And then you export it. So guys, I hope this gets you started on a YouTube journey. Next video up is going to be back on eBay. I have some future ones coming about affiliate marketing that you don't want to miss either. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching this. Again, I'm Dave. This is Retire With Purpose. If you enjoy this kind of information, please like and subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.